Hello, welcome to the eighth uh, video in this file systems video tutorial series. Uh, my name is David Thorne from Thorne Web Design. Now, as you can see here, the aim of this video is to talk about creating and writing to a file using fopen if file does not exist. In the previous tutorial, um, I showed you how to create an empty file using fopen if the file does not exist, and also showed you that um, fopen using the W mode uh, will truncate the file, put the file pointer back to the beginning again. I also explained about uh, what a file pointer is um, and that you need to use F close when you do open a file handle. So if you haven't watched, um, if this is the first video you're watching and you want to know a little bit more about um, F open, then I would suggest going back to lesson number seven and watching that first. Okay, so um, the file which we we were creating in the previous tutorial was the fopen.txt. We're going to continue with the same file for this one example. I've gone and deleted it. So we're going to start again. Okay, but this time we're actually going to write to the file using um, PHP. So let's just check first of all that the file does not exist before we try um, to create it. And obviously if the file doesn't exist, um, then we're going to create it. So the first thing that we need is a file handle. Now you might see a lot of um, people just type in FP, okay, file pointer or handle, whichever one you want. So let's just use the FP. Um, for, for this one. It's a bit shorter as well. So the first argument to F open is the path and the second argument in this scenario is going to be a lowercase uh, w um, which is going to be writing. As discussed in the previous tutorial this is going to um, create, create the file if it doesn't exist or it's going to attempt to create the file if it doesn't exist. It's going to open the file and it's going to truncate the file, put the file pointer back to the beginning, essentially wiping the complete file and then it's going to give you a file pointer which is going to allow you to write data to it. Okay? And if you want to know, have more information about that, then come to the fopen uh, manual and uh, then you essentially can see that there. Now W, like it said there, is for writing only, therefore you can't read from the file with this one mode. Okay, so fopen will return on success a file pointer Okay, which we can then use to write to the file. So let's just do a rudimentary check that FP actually uh, equates to true, um, or it doesn't equate to false as such. And if it does, we're going to continue on. So um, just for the sake of some clarity, file pointer is OK. Uh, let's uh, write to the file. Do a break tag as well. Okay, so now that we've got a file pointer open, first thing that we, we're going to do is close the handle, alright? Close the file pointer, um, because it's good practice um, to close a handle file pointer uh, once you've opened it. Now, um, I want to show you about writing to a file, yeah? So, let's get some data, first of all, and say this is some data, and then let's then... Um, new line, so this is then on a new line. If you know what I'm, you're talking about with this, and you'll see um, what mistake there is so far. And then we're going to say um, third line equals this is on the third line. Okay, so we're going to write three pieces of data to the file. So how do we do that? Well, we use F writes, okay, and there's a, an error somewhere. Okay, um, we're going to use F write, and the first argument to F write is then the file pointer which we want to use. All right, the second argument is then the data which we're going to be writing to it. Now, in this first example, we're going to be using um, this data here, right, which is then contained in the variable data. Now you can put this text straight in here, um, it's no problem, but just for um, for clarity I'm putting it in three variables. Now we can call fwrite as many times as we want, as long as obviously we've got an open file pointer. Now the second set of data which we're going to write is then new line, and the third set of data we're going to write is then third line. Naturally whichever order you, you, you call fwrite is the order in which it's going to write to the file. So um, that's essentially um, it. This is writing textual 
data, string data to the file. I'm not going to be talking about writing binary data. Um, for, for this example, we're writing textual data to the file. Okay. So uh, once we've done that, um, we can just echo then um, the file has been uh, written to and we have closed the file points are, if I spell it correctly, done. Okay, so just to get then, um, just to show you that the file does not exist, we change directory into the test folder, which is where we're going to create the file, and as you can see, the file does not exist. And we come to then the web browser, and as before, not found, refresh it, the file is, does not, is not found, therefore it does not exist come to fs.php which is the the code that we're going to run press f5 and we can see file pointer is okay let's write to this file the file has been written to and we have closed the file pointer good stuff that would then mean that fopen.txt should be a file and if we navigate to it it means that it's got data now good that's all on one line going to come back to that in a second and we come to then the server itself and we just check here and you can see that fopen.txt does in fact exist and it has 68 bytes of data written to the file. Okay, now um, if we then open this one file up um, using the terminal, you can see that everything here is also on the same line, all right, as per the browser. Now, um, let's just close this file there, move this out of the way again, come back to this here. The question is, is why um, does has this data not gone to a new line? Why is it all on the same line? Well, that's because uh, Fbrite has literally just written those characters to the file. Okay, the the disk itself it, it doesn't care. It just sees ones and zeros. It doesn't see anything else. It just writes those ones and zeros to the disk. It doesn't know that it's a T, an H, an I, an S, a space, and so on. It just knows, right, write ones and zeros to that one disk. Now, we have to tell it which ones and zeros to write to the disk. Now, there's this clever thing called ASCII, which is basically a, a way of taking a, a literal character, which we've got here, and turning it into um, then a number, which then means that the operating system can then send that number to then the file system in binary and it can write the binary data to the disk. Therefore, we have a special characters, which the one which I'm going to show you in this tutorial is backslash n, which means new line, all right? Which means that when that data does get sent back to the file to get written, it's going to know that that's um, a specific number in ASCII and it's going to write that number to disk. So when it does then show in the web browser. The web browser will then know, because it understands ASCII as well, what to do with that one character, and it's going to then put the, the data onto a new line. Okay. Also, the terminal knows what to do with that backslash n as well, and it will also put the data onto a new line. So, let's come here. Let's delete this um, one file, so we can then run the code again. And let's see what happens then, shall we? Okay, did I save the file? No, let's save the file. So now let's put a, a, a new line character at the end of um, the first and second line and come back to the browser, run the code once again, and I run it, it says the same thing because it was all successful. Come back to the web browser and run the code w or run the URL once again. And as you can see now, it all goes to the new line uh, to a new line. Let's look at the page source, and as you can see here, those backslash ends don't even display because the web browser didn't care about showing it to you. It just knew to put it to a new line. Okay, come then to the terminal, and we open the file up in the term terminal. And as you can see here, even the terminal isn't displaying that backslash n because it's a special character and it understands what to do with it and it knows to put it to a new line. Okay, so what is my point here? My point was supposed to be about teaching you about fopen and fwrite, but if you are going to write data to a file, then there's a few special characters which you need to understand to know how to format that file correctly because the last thing you want is everything on the same line. Now, fwrite and fopen, 
they don't understand writing to a new line. They only understand just writing data. Therefore, you explicitly got to tell it, hey, write a new line. You know, put it to the next line and so on. Therefore, if you're going to use F writes, you need to start learning these special characters. Okay? There's a few other special characters which I'm not going to get into um, here, but I'm sure um, if you do some research, you'll find out what they are, and you probably know them already. And if you've learnt PHP or read a book, you'd have more than likely been told about what uh, backslash n and the other ones are. Okay? So um, that's essentially. Um, this video tutorial. Now don't forget what the W mode does. It will truncate the file, um, put the file pointer back to the beginning and uh, create the file or attempt to create the file if it does not exist. Now if the file does exist already it's going to wipe that file. I can't say this enough times. You need to make certain that you do the test um, whether or not if you want to create a new file you need to make sure you only um, call that one segment of code once if you don't want to lose that data. Otherwise you want to be using append, which believe it or not, append into a file is the next video. So uh, look forward to the next video uh, about how to append data to this one file. My name is David Thorne, Thorne Web Design. Thumbs up, like, share, comments, um, do anything else that you want. Alright, thanks very much for watching and see you in the next video tutorial. Bye bye.